Okay, so I'm going to try to talk quick because they say my phone is running out of storage. So I'm going to try to talk quick. Okay, so part two from the last video. The meaning of uh, spears. Now, a spear can be used to unallow somebody or it is used to thrust into someone sharply or painfully. So it is used to unallow somebody or to hurt somebody. On the other hand, it can be used to force or to make your way into or through. Now, this is what the Holy Spirit was pointing out that you probably want to do, okay? This is, you probably want to um, force your way to or through to this, um, probably want to force your way um, in to fix this situation to, you probably, you know, let's be honest, you probably want to um, hurt somebody, okay? About your, about, your, about your loved one. You feel me? Like, don't play with him. <laughs> don't play with him. You know what I'm saying? But Holy Spirit is letting you know that this is not your fight. You see what I'm saying? And, and and like David was arguing, like, how come I can't go? I'm not worried about what they talking about, how they feeling, blah, blah, blah. blah. And he was like, I understand. And I do know this. But God wants you to know that he going to take care of it. So there's no need for you to do this. Okay. And um, what does a spirit mean? Spiritually, it is a representation of philosophical pursuits necessary to attain liberation from the cycle of births and deaths so it is a representation of what they want it is a representation of they want their knowledge your reality and your existence they want to um keep you wants to keep your person imprisoned enslaved and oppressed they do not want to let your person go they want to keep them in bondage they want to keep them from birthing anything that the lord has for them that is the purpose of them um trying to manipulate putting this black magic on your spouse because they know that your your husband is moving forward they know that your husband don't want them so the only way that they can get to them is through this manipulation and that's this is why the devil is telling them to go adorn yourselves go beautify yourselves so you can be attractive to this man because the devil knows what your husband likes okay and so does this person if they know this person if not the devil knows what your person likes and if they can't get to them through the old person they're using somebody new okay to get to them but most likely it's somebody old okay um when your person returns okay what they what the devil wants you to do is hold back um restrain withhold and to keep back to halt they want they don't want you they want you to be so upset with your person that you don't allow them back into your space your energy um that you putting this relationship at a stop a standstill you don't want nothing to do with your person because you feel like your person cheated on you they went back to their ex they slept with them they did this the, 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 the third they don't respect you they don't respect this relationship like she's like Aaliyah said at the end of the song how could you love me and you lied how could you love me and you go back okay all these messages is going together today but this is this is what the devil this is how the devil wants you to feel he wants you to cut them off, not to go back, to restrain, okay? And this is the plan of the enemy. And what Holy Spirit pointed out is the spear is one of the oldest weapons, one of the oldest tools. Um, this is why the spear is important. And so is infidelity. So is cheating. This is one of the main reasons why people get divorced. So he knows that if he can get your spouse to cheat on you, that that will hurt you so badly especially if he's going to go back to the person that will hurt you the most or just to do it period he knows if he could get your person to do that that they could this could possibly end your relationship and when i was writing this down i looked at the time and it was 333 so that was a confirmation right there for me and for you to pay attention to pay attention and to look beyond just the physical aspect of this but to look look spiritually into what the devil is trying to do okay the devil is trying to get you to end this relationship to get you to not speak to your spouse to get you to not forgive your spouse to get you to not understand what your spouse is going through and most likely you went through this situation or experience yourself so you should understand 
Now, um, a spear is also the most effective handheld bladed weapon hum humans ever devised. Now, with that being said, the devil knows that this weapon, this woman that he is using, the tactics that he's using, this is going to be the most effective to hurt this relationship. He knows this is going to be the most effective to ruin this promise, the most effective. And this is why your spouse is so ashamed, so sorry to even look at you or to talk to God because he feel like he just broke a covenant, which he did. He did break a covenant and he's so ashamed about it. But we know that it was through the 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 intentions of pure the god we know that it was sent through him these women we know that these women that um are coming to our men are not our husbands are not women of god and they are sent to ensnare them to trap them with manipulation sex um and all these other things now what we have to understand as kingdom wives and as king women of god is that all these spears have a name okay and this spear is called the spear of destiny and whoever claims this spear and understands its occult significance holds the destiny in the world of his hands okay so know this is your spear of destiny know that you are not to ruin your own destiny by letting the devil win with his own tactics, okay? Know what the devil is doing. Know when you have that spear in your hand what he's trying to get you to kill, okay? That's why the Lord says he is not going to let you fight. He is not going to let you use this spear because he knows as a human what we could do with the spears. We would unalive somebody. We would thrust and painfully try to hurt somebody, okay? We would try to force our way through and we would try to make it work make it right ourselves we would try to explain to our husbands what is going on ourselves we would try to let them know oh this is witchcraft she's doing this to you she's doing that to you i'm a, i'm gonna do this to her i'm gonna do this. we about to knock if you buck boy knock if you buck girl okay you know we know we We'll go. We about that life for our husbands. Okay. God put that fire in us to be about that life for our husbands. But that's why he put it out there to say, do not use your spear. Do not fight. This is not your fight. And what he said earlier. And um, when, when David was trying to go and fight, what'd he tell David? If I write it down. thus how it is this is how it should be okay this had to happen this had to happen for your spouse to get that for his eyes to be open this had to happen okay um the lord also says god souls the lord souls and that was a metaphor for actions reaping their consequences so whatever this person did in order to get your person to that point they're going to reap what they sow with all the little seeds that they sow to mislead your person, they're going to reap what they sow. Thus said the Lord. This is how it is. This is how it should be. And the Lord praises you for listening to him as a wife and doing what you're supposed to be doing and to keep moving forward. And when your husband does return to you, not to cut him off, put things at a stop not um talk to him to be angry or upset with him understand that he was misled by the devil okay you have to pray for him as a kingdom wife pray for him pray for his protection pray that his eyes are open pray that his ears are open pray that he is receptive to the lord connect with your husband in the spirit and let you let him know that you love him and you're there for him and you care for him and there's not a devil or a woman in hell that could separate y'all or keep y'all apart period okay period and um Thus is how it is, and thus is how it should be. And the Lord praises praises you for not being afraid to um go for it, for wanting to be afraid, uh, for wanting to go forth and and stand up for your spouse and um be be and stand in that gap for him because why why we feel that way is because like I said earlier, we the person that's standing in the gap, but for our husband and God, and now 
This person is now this God, this woman that this devil sent is trying to stand in the gap between me and my husband or you and your husband. You know how I go or whatever. So you standing in the gap for you and, and God for your husband. And now this devil is sending somebody to try to stand in the gap between you and your, your husband or his promise. You, you know what I'm trying to say? What the, what the Lord wants you to know is you keep standing in the gap for him and your husband. You keep standing in that gap. You don't move from that place, that place right there. He got this other gap where this woman or this thing or whatever it is that's trying to keep your husband from getting it to his promise, that was trying to stand it. He got that. He got that. He telling you he going to use his spear for that. Thus is how it is and thus is how it's going to be. Okay? You reap what you sow. The Lord got that. Let the Lord handle that and you keep moving forward, doing what the Lord told you to do. And when your husband comes to you or your wife comes to you, you be ready with a forgiving heart and a loving heart and understanding. Okay? Period. Was that it? Just know it's the oldest weapon, the oldest tool used. And that's why it's the last one because it's the oldest one and is the um, most important one. And the most effective one used infidelity sex that's why the lord wants us to be abstinent to to hold our virginity he wants us to be the virgins with the oil lamps okay he wants us to be ready when our husband returns to us okay we have to be strong as wives so that sex is not something that is able to manipulate our minds. And we have to be strong for our husbands. So sex is not something that can manipulate their minds as well. We have to pray for them and stand in the gap for them. Okay. And God got this other situation that this woman thinks she's in control of. God got that. He is going to open the eyes of your husband, which he already has. And this is why he feels ashamed. Because he broke his covenant with God. And God is opening his eyes today and letting him know what's going on. Just like he opened your eyes before. Okay, God opened your eyes and let you know what was going on with your ex or your spouse. And let you know how that was. And however he revealed to you that that wasn't your husband or your wife. That's how he's revealing it to your husband or your wife right now. That the person that they dealing with or fooling around with is not for them. That is not their husband and their wife. And however they got to find out by any means necessary, let God deal with that. It ain't your place. It ain't your place. God is telling you, no, I got this. You go on back home to your servants. And in the morning, y'all head out and you keep moving forward, doing what you were supposed to do. Okay? That's it. Don't look back. Your husband will catch up to you. Peace. <laughs>